justify the produce of the legal Israeli settlements on stolen Palestinian land. Waitress in the West End of Glasgow. I'm here to investigate the local Palestinian solidarity campaign's uh, attempt to get the shoppers to avoid uh, produce sold by waitress. They say it's illegal because they say the Israelis have occupied the ground uh, which belongs to the Palestinians and occupied it by force. An organisation devoting itself to promoting boycott states in its website www.bigcampaign.org the Palestinian people are experiencing their 42nd year of military occupation. Israel operates an entrenched system of racial apartheid and has been illegally occupying Palestinian land in the West Bank since 1967. It has systematically transferred its own civilian population into these occupied territories in contravention of international law. Israel continues to build the illegal apartheid wall despite the ruling of the International Court of Justice, that it is illegal. Um, so the fact that uh, the, the products are being sold or bought from a piece of land that has been uh, illegally occupied and any produce that comes off it is considered to be illegal. Um, you know, this is, this is the, the, the key issue. And what we're looking to do is raise awareness amongst the waitress shoppers. I, think, uh, I mean, the Palestinians probably have less than, I think, 30% of the land that was originally uh, appointed to them as their, their sovereign land. What's happened to the rest of the land that they no longer have? Well, it's been occupied by Israeli settlements. Uh, is the produce coming from the area occupied by yes, the Israelis? Yes, that's, that is the case. Yeah. And do the Palestinians get a fair price as far as you're aware? Well, the Palestinians don't have a say in the matter. This, uh, this is the land that's uh, cultivated by Israelis, by Israeli farmers. Uh, uh, there has been a mixed reaction from shoppers here today and no doubt this will go on to other stores and other areas. I contacted waitress, both head office in the south and separately, wrote to and even called in to the Glasgow Buyers Road store. I explained the concerns and issues being levelled against them. Waitress, however, expressly declined to comment in any way. I spoke by phone to Mick Napier, Chair of Scottish Palestinian Solidarity Campaign, known as SPSC, and asked him what is SPSC's specific concern about Waitress. Scottish PSC are specifically targeting Waitrose over the next period because Waitrose is one of only two national supermarket chains who have refused to meet to even discuss the question of illegal settlement produce from the West Bank. All the other supermarkets have indicated they're willing to discuss this issue. In the absence of Waitrose declining to comment, I shall leave the loud hailer of the protesters to sum up their position. Waitrose stocks the produce of illegal Israeli settlements on stolen Palestinian land in the occupied West Bank. If you don't agree, complain to the management.